we need to talk about the infamous Todd McFarlane. I will do the very, very quick bio for this completely out of the loop. Essentially, Todd began way, way back doing comics in the 1980s, slowly built up his reputation and worked on various books, including Hulk, Batman and others. But he made himself famous doing Spider-Man and then created Spawn, his own character for Image Comics. He's done various other projects, including what we're going to talk about here, toys. But principally, his claim to fame are his uh, work on Spider-Man, Spawn and Spawn related products as stories so on and so forth so the controversy is essentially nothing basically some people took a small clip of this interview which i saw the entirety of and what they're babbling about is really only a very small part of it but they got a bent out of shape because todd was just saying again as a toy maker and someone who sells toys that yeah the female toys aren't really selling and he didn't just stop there he was also mocking the eternals and saying well who's buying the eternal so he's kind of having this very generalized mocking of toys that don't sell. and the left saying he's being a misogynist evil sexist man and the right wing is trying to reclaim him as super masculine man standing up for the batman but essentially both sides distorted what happened in the interview and they just buried the lead i will say bounding into comic which mostly distorts stuff was here at least a little less distortive they did not bury the lead entirely because really the conversation at least the early part of it wasn't really about that it was really emphasizing just how big batman is and we're going to hear todd go into that and I'm not saying that I can't sell a female superhero, which I can. What I'm saying is that I can't do an entire line of four figures in one series of nothing but females and put it in the boys' action aisle. Can I sell it as an Amazon exclusive or a Spawn.com exclusive? Yeah, maybe. But not at the boys' action figure aisle. There's a reason why it's called boys' action figure aisle. And if you don't believe me, then you don't remember that either A, you were a nine-year-old boy and or that you actually have a son because it goes sort of something like this. I've said it before. Your, 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 your son is, comes home and he gets straight A's for a year and you go, you know what, we're going we're gonna to buy you a gift. Your, your, your dad and I are going out and we're going we're gonna to bring you a gift. We're going to go, we're going to bring you action for the evening. And you go out and you look at mom and dad are in the aisle and they go hey any batman yep not getting it superman yep not gonna get it captain america hulk fighting nope 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 oh what about some transformers oh robots super super cool no uh how about some ben 10 sort of cool you know sort of creepy crawly yep no we're not gonna get that either oh godzilla king kong oh no how about jurassic park Fuck dinosaurs right <laughs> no oh i'm gonna get me this girl figure and then you're gonna come home and you're gonna give it to your kid and, you're, and he's gonna be super anxious he's been waiting all day and, he, and then you're gonna pull out the bag and you're gonna give it to him and he's gonna go mm. now again he's a nice boy you've raised him right so he's not gonna say anything he shouldn't but he's just gonna ask you know, it's, I mean, thank you but it, it, before i go to my room can i just sort of ask a couple questions mom and dad did they have any superhero dudes oh yeah yeah okay um did they have any robots oh yeah lots of robots should have seen monsters of course creatures yes military yes okay all they had all of that and what about dinosaurs aliens oh shit you should have seen the pigs <laughs> and you got me the female figure right you got me the female figure now i don't know if it's true or not but somewhere along the line, serial killers begin at a certain spot. It's oh like, my God. <laughs> at some point, once you told your kid you walked away from monsters and aliens and dinosaurs and super, like, what are you talking about? So, yeah, essentially, he's just saying that as a consequence of Batman being so big, the focus for him, and again, remember, he doesn't own these things, he's taking a contract, so he has to more or less sometimes take orders, but he has some wiggle room. They want Batman, so it's like, okay, fine, we're going to do Batman figures. And they went into the details of which kind of figures we're selling, and uh, he even said he's going to restrain certain things, like, you know, some of his toys have too many guns, they want to kind of restrain that. He also wanted to change the poses of Batman because there were some complaints. But his whole thing is that even without a movie, Batman is always selling. The fact that Batman is a man, it's incidental, that's just the popularity. And as he says in that clip, 
It's not a male-female thing because Superman's not selling, Flash is not selling, Wonder Woman is not selling anywhere close to Batman. Batman is very hegemonic, right? They're there to sell toys, so Batman is what they're going to sell. They're not going to sell Eternals, they're not going to sell girl toys, they're not going to sell any of these other toys because Batman is so dominant and has been apparently for some time. Now, I am into Spawn. I'm a big comic book expert slash historian. I'm going to do more and more content focused on that and its ties obviously to film and television. And I think I don't think what people appreciate is that Todd has basically always been very rebellious and likes to speak his mind frankly. You don't have to agree with him, but he always likes to tell what he thinks is the blunt truth. And he actually drops a lot of inside knowledge of how the toy industry really works. If you don't like what he said about these statements, that's fine. I don't think they matter at the end of the day. As he says, the toy business is rough. It's a very cutthroat business. They're just doing what they need to do in terms of responding to the market. People want these female toys or more Wonder Woman toys. They have to buy them. Right? That's the reason they're doing it. It's because they're selling. So, and if you think you have a better idea, then enter the market, sell your own toys, sell your female toys. If they make enough money, people are going to imitate that. And just more generally speaking, despite the language, Todd is actually more on the left and liberal. I mean, Spawn is a black superhero and he's taken on the KKK and people associated with the CIA. So yeah, this is much more on the left kind of comic book and fictional creations that he does. It may not come across all the time, but, you know, he's not he's not by any means a right wing maniac or anything like that. So they're just distorting who he is. And ironically, just a couple of months ago, these same people who fell in love with him now them condemned them as a woke leftist Hollywood moron who was giving in to political correctness. The thing is, Todd, very independent, he tries to follow his own ideas. Sometimes they are politically correct, sometimes they are not politically correct, but he's going to do what he thinks is right. And you have to appreciate his attitude. So love him or hate him, this is very much Todd being Todd. You don't like it, you don't have to listen to him, you don't have to pay for his toys, you don't have to pay for his comics, but I do think you have to respect him for his achievement because Quite literally in the history books, he is among three creators independently who own their own creations who have had a long-term comp. It's him, Eric Larson, Dave Sims. That's it. These are the three men, the three individuals, the three artists that have the longest running independently owned comp book creations. And whatever you think about their politics or their social life or whatever, that's a huge achievement. The fact that Todd is the most successful, the richest of these people, irrelevant at the end of the day. He started off independent. He remains independent. He's still a small business. He hasn't sold out to any corporation. When he speaks, he speaks. may not like what he says, but at least, you know, it's more or less coming from a very genuine place. You can still disagree with him. I disagree with him on a lot of places, but I think this is his honest view of the industry. may not like it, but uh, numbers don't lie.